Hey, let me jump in here right quick, cause y'all know whenever we chop it up and we try to get this game, you know I got stories to, to back up what we listening to. I got a friend. I got a friend that want to change the world just like me. Um, you know, I align myself with people that want to help. I, I put myself around people that we care about others and we want to make a difference. I got a friend that is in the uh, the justice system, the courtroom. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make it plain. You know, I wanted to use a nice word, though. Well, what, what's the word? Come on. I know one of y'all, you know what I'm saying? Got it for me. Is it the justice, justice, the justice system? I know justice system. What is, what is that word I'm looking for? Come on, help me out. But I'm gonna keep going. But I know one of y'all gonna put it in the chat. All right. So I got a friend that worked with the judge. Um. And she get to see how evil some people are. She get to see firsthand what they do to you once you get into that courtroom. And now she don't like it. But her whole thing was, if I'm in this courtroom, I can help people. I can ch I can change some of these outcomes. See, she got that same mindset that I had with 2K. We think that we can go to these mega corporations and we can just turn everything around. We think we can get up in these systems and and tear it down from the inside. But they done already dealt with this type of strategy before. They had the Black Panther Party. And forgive me for my lack of knowledge on the other parties that they have had where people got in the inside of these systems and tried to give out information to their people. To, to their community. So we... So we know that the system is familiar with, oh, you want to come in here and tear it down from the inside? You, the system is the one who told us about the Trojan horse. Okay, we've we, we seen it happen with the nation of Islam. So we know that the system is familiar with people that are trying to get in-house and destroy it from the in-house. Okay, so now here, here we come. A lot of y'all, just like me, here we come in 2024. Trying to play our old strategy on a system that gave us the blueprint about the Trojan horse. Y'all know the story of the Trojan horse, right? It was at war. They gave the emperor a gift and inside the gift was soldiers. And when they got in, they was able to destroy it from the inside. Y'all know the story of how we allow certain people to get into our organization and our groups and then come to find out they selling information to the other group. It happening with the military right now. We see leaks, right? Just in case you understand on the Trojan horse level, you hear about how these celebrities have their songs leaked. Somebody from the inside doing that, right? Okay, we, we on the same page. So... Here we go trying to use this old playbook. So she in this system. She working in this courthouse. She get the right right. She get to work right next to the judge. And it, it's breaking her down the fact that she can't help the way she thought she could. She thought she was gonna be able. Now let me let me tell you. She was at another position, right? She was at the, doing the same thing for another company. Um, some things happened. She went and told the company her two week notice. This other company, she got, she just took this major test to hit this six figure bracket, have their paperwork, the paperwork to back you on what you know and all this, and she passed the test. Boom, she excited. You know what I'm saying? She she going crazy. I passed the test. You know, boom. Ah, you know. Now I get to move up the ladder and you know what we were talking about yesterday, moving up, right? We just had this discussion. We just had this discussion yesterday about we move up in our companies, in our corporation. We go, we go, we go take these qualifications so that we can move up. But sometimes we rushing to move up. 
we we moving up now but let's make sure we can handle what we're trying to move up to let's make sure we can handle what we say we're trying to get to and then at the same time if we can't handle what we're trying to get to let's make sure that we able to withstand what we have put ourselves into so we have to have that backbone and say i'm not qualified for what i actually signed up for but i'm gonna stand in this paint though i'm gonna stand in this paint though i'm, I'm I, I mean i wanted to move up because damn i'm gonna be making six figures now oh sign me up okay here you go take this test you pass the test boom we finna move you up the ladder you right. You already done work with the judges. You already familiar with different courtrooms in the system. You good at what you do. We want to put you at the next level. We're going to take you from that small company and we're going to put you with the big judges now. Oh, now we finna let you see how this system really operate. So you got to see it on the small end. Now we finna take you over here to the Supreme Courtroom. Oh, shit. Oh, so now I was playing at a small system because, you know, system has levels. There's the low level, mid level, upper level, and the beyond level. So now we dealing with the Supreme, right? So now my friend, she in the, she dealing with the Supreme Court room. She working with the judges. She said, man, I be crying. Because of what they doing to some of these people. I said, damn. I said, you a real one. You really, you, that's humility. You really, you really one of them chosen ones. You telling me that you done went and put all this work in. You done took these certifications. You done had to study your motherfucking asshole. And only 1% of the pe people, people that passed the bar don't even pass this test. But you did it. You did it. Because you wanted to make a difference in the world. And you thought being in this courtroom... That you can make a difference. You thought, I get to work with the judge. I'm going to be able to help people. I'm going to be able to save some of these people. And they showing you that. Hold on. Hold on, young lady. <laughs> what you coming over here with all that passion and all that saving people type of talk? What you talking about? Over here, we here to do business and handle business. We got a system in place over here. We prosecute motherfuckers over here. Yeah, we do deals over here. Yeah, give me this one. I gave you two last month. I need one today. I got to close this one. Hold on. Wait a minute. We're not going to actually go to court and fight this out. We're not going to actually put this shit into what y'all call a trial. Oh, we negotiate people's lives. So now she get to see that. And she's saying, damn, what the fuck I done did. I done worked my ass off to get into this courtroom so I can make a difference. And now I'm in this courtroom. That ain't what it is. That ain't how they play. Oh, okay. So what you going to do? I want to give them my two week notice. You just was bragging to me how you hit the six figure known. You had six figure known. Oh, you want to quit? Because I can't. I thought I was going to be helping people. I understand. I understand. I've been there. I did it. I even I even did it in my business. I risked everything because I wanted to help people in the 2K community. I wanted to bring them something more and I wanted to show them let's get together and we can make these companies buy down to us. But, you know, I went out there and then I lost everything. And then I said, OK, then boom, I lost a lot of shit. I lost my home. I lost my cars. I damn near almost lost my family because I took it to a point where, nigga, I was so serious that I started losing sponsorship because I started speaking out. I said, no hard feelings. The people that I was trying to protect and save, none of them can really help me. They can help me when I was when I was losing all my deals. And because I make the choice, but I'm saying, though, I know you want to save people and we have a purpose to save people because that's who we are. We want to help people. We want to make a difference in this world. So I get on this Internet for a purpose because I want to spread love. I want to give knowledge that I have learned and obtained and I want to share it. I said, God, know your heart. No. He know your heart. You want to help people. But listen, you can't quit. You can't quit. You can't run from a challenge. I know what you're seeing. It, it devastating because you thought you was going to make a difference. 
But you got to understand sometimes all oh, the system is the system and we just a part of the system. Some of us out here, we want to make a difference in this world. You can make a difference, but you got to figure out a way to make a difference in your system. So, OK, boom. Damn, I'm in this courtroom. She want to put in her two we notice. I have a long talk with her. I let her know there's still a purpose to be served. I said, OK, you want to make a difference. Do you know all the ins and out of this business to actually make a difference? She said, hmm, damn. I mean, I know some tricks. OK, you don't learn the few tricks to where you can help the people that come in this courtroom. So they actually took her off one of her cases because they said she was too invested. They said she was too emotional about it. And she was like, but this is somebody life. We, 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 we dealing with somebody life and we making deals. They took her off the case. See, when you care about people, when you really want to help people, there's a system that says we're here to get paid. Get that fucking heart out of here. She got to go. Take her off this case. No, she can't work this case. No, she out here. We trying to get this thing done. I promise Tom, Tim, this guy right here, he got to go to jail. Well, but I, we can help him. What the fuck is she talking about helping him? I, I promise Tom this one. He got to go. But see, we don't think this shit real until we get out here and we see this shit. So some of us, y'all, she said the people, the people, see, she coming in there with that good heart. She coming in there with that little gullible love and want to save people and want to help people. And the people looking at her like, don't come over here with that bullshit. Don't come over here with that bullshit. We get paid good money to do what we do. So it made me proud to know that I got a friend that was just so excited about hitting six figures. Just so excited to pass a test that only 1% of lawyers pass. And, and these people that take these exams, only 1% of these people pass this test. And she passed this motherfucker. And she's so excited. But now she done gotten into this position. And it's hurting her because she can't actually do what she thought she was here to do. But guess what? You can do it. You might not be able to save the people that you're trying to save in that position. But you can still take your knowledge. You can get up here and gain all the knowledge that you can gain. You can make all the money that you can make. And you can go out and save somebody else. Because at the same time, they wouldn't have been in that courtroom asking you to help them, crying to you, trying to make you feel bad when they know they don't supposed to be doing the bullshit that they did. So I understand you feel some type of way because this man, this grown ass man is looking you in your eyes and he crying out to you. Can you please help me? I know that shit got to do something to you. But you can't help him. You can't help him if he didn't try to help himself. He know what this is. Y'all right now listening to me. If you get in the jam. You cannot go out here and say I did not know this sister will eat you alive. And these people don't care about your life, bro. Then people will get you in that courtroom and you just another fucking gamble. You just another fucking, I'm going to give him one or two. I'm going to give her one because she gave me one last month. That's what you are. So you can't get out here and try to make people feel bad because they in a fucked up system just like you in a fucked up system. What you want me to do? I'm trying my best to help. I'm trying to learn. So I had to let my friend know. That I know it hurts. But stay there and get the knowledge. Now whether she stay or not. That's on her. But I wanted to give her to understand that. We are put into tough challenges in this world y'all. We are in a system that we did not design. We did not design this. You think we would pay for water? You think we would pay for air? You think we would pay for Medicaid when motherfuckers need help? They got to get turned away because they don't have the proper insurance? You think somebody would actually sign up for some shit like that? No, we would not do that because we have humility. 
But this system that we live in says if you don't have the correct insurance, I cannot help you, sir. I cannot help you, ma'am. We have a system where people play games with your life. But we know that, right? We know that. Don't act like you don't see. This is what I'm saying. We can't get out here and try to act like we don't know what we know. You're hearing it right now. So from this day forward, don't go out here and put yourself in a jam. You get fucked over. You get pulled over because you, you're speeding. But you also have multiple warrants. But you never thought to take care of that situation. So now you got caught for speeding. Now you're going to jail. And now you're going to jail and you're in that courtroom. You done now. Appreciate the resub, my G. I'm grateful. Appreciate that. You don't give them a reason to jam you up. Thank you, my G. That's why I love my chat. I love y'all, man, because I know when I come here, I'm going to talk to niggas that going to say, nigga, we, we hear what you're saying, and we're going to add a little two cent too. Now the ones that come in here and bullshit, that's all right. Let's bullshit after we finish this right here, because right now we in class. So don't give them people some reason to play with your life. So, yes, y'all, we do level up. We do level up. We want to go to the next level. But let's make sure that the level we're trying to get to, we actually supposed to be there. And she's supposed to be in that courtroom. You need people with a heart in that courtroom. It's going to be tough for a person with a heart. It's going to be tough for you. You got a heart. You care about people. You don't want to see... You understand that people make mistakes. But I'm telling y'all, sometimes you can make, it, make a mistake and it can be your last mistake. But ain't we smart enough to know that now? She gonna make a difference. But you gotta stay in that fight though. And that's what I told her. Don't run. Don't run. What, what, what I told my daughter, I thought I told y'all this too. We chase challenges. This shit hard. God damn it, I gotta stay in it then. All this shit hurt. Well, God damn it, I need to do one more. We have to chase the things that are difficult for us. I know that shit sounds stupid as fuck, but the things that are difficult for us are the things that are going to make our life easy. But we like to go the easy route, and then, God damn it, we got to turn around and waste 10 years being locked up because we went the easy route. We went the easy route. Now we saying, God damn, I'm fucked up. Now we got to start over at 30, 40, 50 years old because it was easy to sell the drugs. It was easy to go out and party. It was easy to skip school. It's so easy to skip school. It's so easy to cut class. It's so easy to disrespect our parents. But God damn, can we sit up in there and listen to our parents tell us, I'm tired of you not trying to be nothing. We don't want to listen to that shit, but imagine if we listen. Imagine if we just stand in that motherfucking fight and just listen to them tell us the truth. Imagine if we just actually listen to our auntie, our big sister, our big brother. The ones that actually trying to give us that hard lesson. It's so easy to walk away and say, fuck this shit, I'm going to stay over my girlfriend's house. Fuck this shit, I'm going to stay over my boyfriend's house. Why? Because you fucked up and now I can't, I can't give the person that I love, that I created, that I helped brought into this world, I can't give you constructive criticism. I can't tell you, come on, baby, you know I didn't raise you like, I didn't raise you like that. Why is you not out here? Why is you at school bullshitting? I go to work all day, every day to try to make a, a living for you. And this is what you do. You go to school and don't even fucking do your homework. I got to work sun up to sundown because that's the system. The system is taking the time that we would love to spend with our kids, our mother and fathers. Some of us right now have parents that live with us and we can't even actually be hang out with them. People think, oh, yeah, I got a two-parent household. How many niggas got a two-parent household but still have a fucking stranger in your house? Because that's the system. The system said, I need your daddy to come to work. The system said, I need your mama to come to work. You saying, damn, man, I, we ain't gonna hang out with mom and dad. Mom and dad now working six hours. I mean, six days a week. 
instead of five days a week. Because the economy done pushed the motherfucker to where, oh, you got to come to work for some overtime. I was going to go to the game and watch the game, son. I'm sorry. Daddy got to go get this overtime because if daddy don't get this overtime, nigga, they just raised the rent. You feel me? They just pushed the rent up for another 500. So I got where the 500 going to come from. So, little man, I really want to come and watch you play. I really want to be a father to you. But the system's taking me from you. But see, they most of us can't even understand that. Most of us are mad at our parents because our parents don't spend enough time with us. But we don't even recognize the system. It's the reason our parents can't spend enough time with us. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Don't rush it. It going to come. Whatever you desire is going to come to you. Be patient. Whatever you desire is going to come to you. But when it comes to you, just know you asked for this shit. My friend asked to be in no big courtroom. That's what she told me. I need to get to the Supreme Courtroom. And she now she there. And that motherfucking challenges are hitting her ass. Because the challenges of seeing people just play with people's lives and, and they lives are expendable on bullshit. That is that's a challenge. Don't run from that motherfucking challenge. I need you to get out in that motherfucking DB stand and, and, and line up. Line up, goddammit. it. That's what this shit is, bro. When we face with these obstacles, nigga, you supposed to get in your DB stand, nigga. Yeah, hey, hey, if you didn't play football, go. It, it don't matter. Get in the stands. Get in whatever stands you want to get in and understand that you ask for what you want and these challenges got, got to come with it. You say you want to be the best 2K player, then you know it's some niggas coming for your neck. You say you want to be the best songwriter, then you know it's motherfucking coming. I need a song today, a song tomorrow, a song the next day, and now your motherfucking ass said, I'm tired. What you mean you tired? You ask for this. You niggas out here asking to be successful now that these challenges are coming our way. You think the success just in room? What the fuck? I want to be able to take care of my family. I want to be able to travel the world. Well, how you think you're going to get that? It comes with some challenges. How you think you're going to get the new J's you're trying to get? The new shoes you're trying to get? The new Rolex you're trying to get? The new suit you're trying to get? How you think you're going to get the muscles you say you want? How you think you're going to get this? How you think you said you're going to... I'm going to read 30 books. Well, God damn it. You said you're going to read 30 books? Well, you need to start today. Right? You need to start putting that challenge. You need to start facing that challenge. I, I got to knock a book out a week. I got to knock a book out every two days so I can get to... You say you want this. I got to pass this test. Damn, I got to study for this test. Well, you got to put in the work. The challenges must come in order to get the success. So. Don't be afraid. Just be patient. Because whatever you say you desire. Y'all. Y'all listen to me. Magic is real. And I don't know if we supposed to call it magic. But I'm going to just say. I said I want. Four to five kids. And I want them to have food fights. Because I just thought it was so cute. To see kids just throwing food. But I, it wasn't my kids. I was still a young niggas looking at other people's kids. I just like, look at this, man. Look at that. I want that right there. I want about four or five kids. And I just want them to love on their daddy. I want them to go off to college and come back home and just jump on the bed. Daddy, we back. What's up? What we doing today? And then, you know, they had their food fights while they kids. But guess what, y'all? Man, I'm so sick and tired of the goddamn food fights, y'all. Man, God damn, why you throwing that mashed potato over there? Fuck! Why is it mac and cheese all the way over here? Nah, I don't like this shit, y'all. I asked for this shit when I was a young nigga. I asked for my babies to have food fights, and now I'm tired of fucking food fights. Man, I'm telling y'all, this shit is real, bro. What you say you want, you gonna fucking get it. But when you get this shit, you better not forget what you said. See, a lot of us, we forgetting, though. We forgetting that shit that we said when we was just chilling. We, uh, man, you know what? Bro, I want to go to college and play ball. 
I want to make it to the NBA. Guess what, y'all? Guess what? For a guy, listen, let me show y'all how real this shit is. What you say you want, you're going to get it. But when you when you face with these challenges, a lot of us quit. We forget what we say. I said I wanted to make it to the NBA. Now, how the fuck am I going to make it to the NBA? I never played ball in high school. Never played ball in middle school because I was kept failing. The, the first year I made the team in high school, I was getting suited and booted. Had got my son Marion's. Them bitch was like a hundred and six dollars. Nigga, I ain't never had a pair of shoes, a regular shoe that price. But I made the basketball team. My daddy went in that um, uh, it's some type of book. Wait, it's a, it's a. It's a bootleg book. You feel me? You know, I'm from the hood. We had them bootleg books. But in the book, it had some Sun Marys. The bitch was like $106. My daddy bought me them goddamn Sun Marys. Guess what, y'all? Nigga, you failed. You can't even play. Ah, uh, so look. Never bait the team in school. But guess what, y'all? My first baby mother. Superstar basketball player. The coach said... The coach travel, she traveled all over the world playing basketball. Me and her in love. It's my girlfriend. It's my baby. We don't leave each other's side. She with me. I'm with her. But she got to go off and play basketball. She got to move on. She can't stay here and lay up with, with me. She be fucking and sucking and kissing and, and doing all that bullshit, hanging out at parties. This girl got a career. I'm just a young nigga out here, you know. I, I'm a hood basketball player. Nigga, I'm, I'm known in the city, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm known in the city for the hooping, but she, 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 she professional. You feel me? She run plays and shit. I'm out here, nigga. What's up? You feel me? Chest up, head up, nigga. Man, fuck all that, nigga. You know who here today? You off the court. You off the court. You off the court. Yeah, that's it. You know. You feel me? So guess what, y'all? Let me show you how this thing works. When God say you ask for it, we're going to get it to you. We're going to put you in the position to get it, but it's up to you to get it. All right, so so guess what? The coach the coach said, we want you. A coach traveled all the way from Texas. A couple coaches was traveling to Mississippi to come look at her, scout her. Guess what? They said, they said we want you. One of these coaches wanted her so bad, she told the coach, the only way I'll come and play ball for your school is you get my boyfriend on the basketball team. Man, y'all, come on, man. Y'all better act. I'm telling you, nigga, this shit is real. What you say you want gonna happen. What you say you want gonna happen, but you ain't gonna remember it. A lot of us, we not gonna remember the shit we said. So when it happened to us, we just think it's a new thing because we're dealing with so much each and every day. We can't keep up with the shit we done said five years ago. So nigga, the coach said, I'm gonna see what I can do. She said, well, I ain't signing nothing. I ain't packing nothing. I ain't going nowhere until I know he actually can get on the boys basketball team. And I come to Texas and play. What? Man, you ain't got that type of power. That shit ain't real. I, I heard about power like that. But girl, that nigga ain't finna just get me on no boys basketball team, man. Go on to live your life and go on and play. You feel me? Like we had fun. It was a good relationship. But you got to go and play ball, man. She said, I ain't going. If if he if he can't get you in there, we'll figure something else out. I said, man, girl, you know, you know, when you're young, you know, you're like, oh, that's my baby. You know, we in love. Guess what, y'all? That nigga called back, said, we got, we got him a spot. What? I ain't never played ball in no school. That nigga don't got no spot for me. Quit playing. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm a young nigga. I got the crown big on 24s. I got the 15 being on the block. I'm the nigga that gonna pull up to your parking place. I'm the nigga that traveling to different clubs. Now you telling me I'm finna go to college and play basketball? Man, go on with the bullshit. Guess what, y'all? Man, who wanna buy my crown big on 24s? I, I need to go to college. Nigga, what you talking about? I'm finna go to college. I need to sell my car. Sold the car. Got 6000 for it. Probably worth way more than that. But nigga, I just got a phone call. I can go play basketball in college. Fuck this car. Nigga, fuck them 15s. Fuck the, how much I paid for the rims. Fuck how clean the car is. 
it, it, fuck this shit, man. I'm finna go play ball in college. Nigga, I ain't never played in school, nigga. I'm finna play, nigga, I'm the black Steve Dads, nigga. I got my dream. But I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for the, what I asked for. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I got to admit it to myself. I wasn't ready. I got what I asked for and I was scared. And I wasn't ready. So I didn't believe in myself in economics. What is it? Academics. Academically, I'm smart, but I was scared to academics because I just never really paid attention. I didn't. I wasn't a good speller. I wasn't a good reader. And I was scared, bro. So, you know, my my girlfriend got in trouble. She ended up getting kicked out of school. Uh, which it wasn't her fault. But that's just how the game go. But when you a superstar, you get targeted. And she can handle the pressure of being targeted. She was the superstar. She came. The things that they did for her, they treated her like a superstar. And, and she played like a superstar. But she can handle the pressure. So she would have knife on her, you know, or to protect herself just because the girls be talking shit to her or, you know, altercation to where they bumping her and she got to handle her shit because, bitch, what you mean, nigga, bump you, you know, f fuck her, bump her back, you know, but I'm just thinking, no, nah, we just protecting you, baby. We ain't going to let no motherfucking hurt you up here. And listen, Chad, you know how I am right now. This motherfucker got me in the school. Which bitch bumping you? I'm ready to jump out of the gym, cause, but at the same time, I'm smart. We can't get in no trouble, girl. We in a position of our lifetime. We can't get in no trouble. I'm a hood nigga. I'm up here in college playing ball. You a superstar. We can't get in no trouble. You feel me? I'm really on that shit, but I'm scared because, like, girl, we can't do nothing. We can't be out here making. We can't even be out past curfew. We can't be getting in no trouble. You feel? I'm one of them niggas right now. We, girl, we in college. You done got a nigga in the gym? Girl, we got to work out every day. We got to, uh oh, -uh, we can't get in no trouble. That's how I am. I'm really on that shit right now, but I'm, at the same time, man, don't let nobody play with you. Nobody play with you, because, nah. But, so she ended up getting kicked out just because she had a knife on her. And the girl said that she threatened them. But they was picking on her because she was a superstar. She got treated like a superstar. But she wasn't able to handle that pressure of being a superstar. And before she left, I was in college making A's. I was writing essays. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Your boy can't even read and write that good. Well, I mean, like I said, I'm not a great speller. Um, But I have, I have improved a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? Because I just never really took academics seriously because, you know, when you the guy that's look good to girls and you cool, you know, the girls do your homework. But what I'm telling you is it's going to come back and bite you in your ass for getting your homework did by other people's every day. Falling asleep in class and saying, man, fuck this shit. Skipping school. See, this is what I'm trying to tell you. It's easy to have a bitch to do your homework. It's easy to get somebody else to do your work. It's hard for you to do your work. But the benefits of you doing it versus having somebody else to do it. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, when she got kicked out of school. Y'all follow me, right? Type one if you're following the story. And you understand how we get here. We're talking about patience. We're talking about levering up. We're talking about asking for what we want. We're not being ready for what we say we want. Type one if you're following me. Because I, 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 I ain't off track. I'm right on track. But I just want to know if you're keeping up. So, because I'm scared, I asked for what I want. How the fuck did God put me in this position? You said you wanted to be go to the NBA? That's what you asked for. God damn, man. This nigga really got me in college playing ball. I'm on my way. Like the next step is the NBA. Fuck, nigga. Okay. All right. So you in the end, you in college playing ball. You doing good. They liking what you do because you a hustler. You can shoot that thing and your mind. Nigga, you was writing plays. I actually had a playbook. Yeah. I'm the nigga that's on the bench. 
trading plays and showing the coaches and they fucking with my plays. The same shit I do on 2K is what I did in real life. I create plays and they fucking with them. They like, damn. I had a book, nigga, of plays. I don't know where my fucking book at. But I had a book, y'all. I used to just be, I just used to be on it and I was so hungry. And it, and one thing, we need remind me to talk about this sometime this week about the blessings of being in poverty. See, a lot of us, we from poverty and we don't know that we have a fucking gift out this world because we understand where poverty is. And I'm going to say that for another day. But, um, so she get kicked out, y'all. I asked her to be here. Now here come my challenge. Remember what we talked about? For my niggas that type one, you understand what I'm saying? We just said what we want. God said, I'm finna give it to you. But guess what? He don't give it to us without the challenges. So now here come the challenge. Girlfriend kicked out. She happy with me with my college work. I'm making A's and B's. All my teachers love me. I'm still that cool fly young nigga. So everybody fuck with me. But at the same time, I'm scared though. Because now I'm by myself. Other people want to help me, but y'all don't know me. So I, I, I don't really want to take a lot of help from strangers. I mean, it was cool when my girl was here because she gave me the confidence that, you know, we don't don't trip. You know, I'm going to help you with your work. You know, it's good. You're good. You got this. And I was just excited because I had my team player there. The person that helped me get here is now gone. And I'm scared. Damn, I asked to be here. Why are you scared? Shit. What's going on? Damn, you asked to be here. You asked to go to the NBA. This is your steps to go to the NBA. You got to make it through this college shit. But, man, my team player gone. My best friend gone. The person I love is at home. And I feel, because I'm from poverty. I'm from the hood, so I feel like, damn, man. I'm in here living my dream, and she done got kicked out. Damn. Is this fair? Now, all this shit going on in my head, like, do I deserve this? She got kicked out. I'm still here. Am I a fuck nigga for this? Like, damn, nigga, you better, you, you better stay here and focus. Everybody trying to cheer me up. Everybody like, it's going to be K. Okay. You know, you got to stay on the right track. And you, you know, you got an opportunity. But I'm like, the probably work on my own now. Nigga, going into that, going into that lab, writing up essays with him different now. Damn, this essay hit different. It was, I was had I, for some reason when she was there, I was doing my essays by myself, and I haven't heard the proof read them. And she, and she was like, "You doing good?" But now that she was gone, I had other people that wanted to help me, but I didn't want them to know that I wasn't that smart. At least what I thought was that smart, because I'm very intelligent, but. I didn't want other people to know that I can read that good. I didn't want other people to know that I can spell that good. It was okay because she she had gotten to the point where she still loved me in spite of me not being the guy that know every fucking word or know how to spell every word because she know that this nigga's intelligent fuck, but he just he just he just played around in the school to where he didn't fucking pronunciate the words fully, so now he may spell the bitch incorrectly, but he very intelligent, so she had, you know, got used to that, so now I was about to show other people my flaws. Damn, this nigga cool as fuck. This nigga sexy as fuck, handsome as fuck, but he can't spell. Oh shit. Come to find out, y'all, truthfully, most people don't care. That be your insecurity. Most people don't care that you have some flaws about yourself. But we think our flaws is so loud and we put so much pressure on our flaws that our flaws don't even be that big. You might have a booger in your nose and only three people really give a fuck that you have the booger while the other hundred thousand people like, it's okay. Hey, bro, you got some in your nose. You know, it ain't no big deal. See, what I'm saying is, 
I asked for what I wanted and God put me in the stuff to get it. But I let fears, I let the fear of not being the guy that, you know, had gotten over his insecurities and his flaws of not being the great speller, the great reader, to where I end up leaving school. I, 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 I got so much in my mind, like, I can't do this shit on my own, which I was doing good, but I just, I started to doubt myself. I started to not believe in myself. So I asked for this, but now I'm reneging on it. I'm giving up on what at the fucking lifetime. Nigga, you in fucking college. You ain't never played ball in high school, middle school, kindergarten. But you've been nice in the hood, though. But now you got a chance to be a professional hooper. And the coaches love you. Everybody fuck with you. But I felt like my flaws were just too loud. I felt like the person that got me here, she ain't here no more. Damn, man. I can't. I don't want to do this. You know, and she ain't here. And so I end up quitting school. And then I made a vow to never touch a basketball again. That's how I got so good at 2K. Because I told myself I don't deserve to touch a basketball. God gave me a chance to be that NBA player. I had a story that people wouldn't believe. If I got to the NBA and told my story, how I got to the NBA, oh my God, nigga, the fans would have been like, yo, we love him. <laughs> He's so amazing. <laughs> oh, and we love his girlfriend. She actually got him in school. She would not sign the contract without him. Oh my God. So, you know, man, it just, but guess what, y'all? Everything happened for a reason. You know, I know who the person I am and the things that I see going on in the industry. <laughs> I probably would have quit the NBA, too. Yeah. Because I have morals, I have standards and I have humility. I fight for all. But at the same time. What I'm saying is we have lessons in this world. We can't be afraid to go to the next level, y'all. We can't be afraid. We can't say we want better out of our lives. And when God say, I'm going to give you better. But I'm going to put some challenges in place to make sure this is what you want. See, I didn't really want to go to the NBA. I just thought I wanted to go to the NBA because that's where I'm from. And that's where they've been sold to us. Basketball, football, basketball, football, rapping. That's the way it's being sold to me. So I sold it to myself. Fuck Steve Nash. I fuck with Steve Nash, but fuck Steve Nash. You know, fuck the NBA. You know, I said to myself, because to see what I learned is, focus on you. That NBA shit is, is there to distract you from focusing on you. That football game is there to, to intercept you. Oh, the interception is the fucking football game. It's intercepting you from going to the gym. It's intercepting you from going to the library. It's intercepting you from being a person of success. Like I said, y'all, we don't get too far away from pleasure of bullshit because we'll go crazy if we just lock ourselves in the room and just, I'm just going to study and be the best person ever. We ain't going to make it like that. We possibly we could. But nigga, we done had, I done had 32 years of rap music. You think I could just quit rap music overnight? But slowly, for surely, I listen to rap music about 20% of the time now. When it used to be 100%. So it, that let me know that shit can change. Let me repeat that. I was 100% rap guy. Lil Wayne was my favorite rapper. I haven't listened to Lil Wayne in how long? I don't give a fuck what Lil Wayne playing. Because I want to break away from something that is destructive. That's my opinion. That's my choice. So I listen. But I still go get my little hit of one, two. You know, I still get my little, my little dopamine from rap music every now and then. 
but I don't listen to rap music no more. So, cause I, I have to listen to things that gonna elevate me. I'm listening to how to get money. I'm listening to how to be healthy. I'm listening to how to be um a better person. How to be um a good citizen. How to be a better friend. How to be a better father. How, I, I'm listening to things that gonna help me. This song right here not gonna help me. I want to watch your documentary though. Yeah. Yeah, I'll watch your documentary, Lil Wayne. Yeah, but fuck your music. Yeah, let me hear your documentary. Let me hear how you came through and you blessed your community and you wanted to, to be a better person so you knew. Let me hear how Future is making all this music about drugs, but he don't do drugs. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Future don't do drugs? That can't be real. What? Not Future. Future don't do... you. Yeah, quit bullshit. Okay, he smoked, but he don't be popping pills and really drinking the serves. And I thought Future was the pill popper maniac. So when you find out that people are selling you poison, but they don't take the poison. When I seen Cardi B run to the radio to stop it because her daughter walked in the room. See, y'all, what I'm trying to get you to understand, I'm finna make it 360. My friend is in the courtroom right now crying because she want to help people and save people. And they telling her to shut your fucking ass so we make money over here. You make enough money that you can take your family on a trip every fucking week. So there are some people that have sold out to the system, but they won't sell their family members out. Because guess what? When they family members walk in that courtroom, best believe there's a possibility to help them. But when your family member walk into the courtroom, just know you're just another number. It's time to play hockey with your ass. I'm going to give two to Tim today and I'm going to give one to John. Now, everybody else, you're going to have to get in where you fit in. But the first two going to Tim because I promised him two last week. Nigga, and she in there can't believe it. She can't believe that they doing this with people's lives. She want to quit. It's okay. Don't quit. Stay grounded. Figure out all that you need to figure out before you leave. Because what I told y'all, we don't just work our job no more. I called my baby mother this morning. I said, my baby mother worked for... Uh, Charb Swap, y'all know what that is, the banking shit, I said, you better get all the fucking knowledge you can get, you better go in that motherfucker like you own the place, you better be in that motherfucker walking and talking and grooving like you own the place because we have to stop going to these jobs and just getting the bare minimum so that we can get a paycheck. We need to go to these jobs and own these jobs. We need to go to these jobs and give it our all. We need to stop half-assing these jobs. I feel like I talked long enough. I know some of y'all ready to see the gameplay. You ready to get to the entertainment? And I know, I know you've been conditioned that way. But it's okay. Because the more you listen to me, the more you will break away from it. I wish you would turn my stream off right now and go do something to better your life. <laughs> yeah, once I start getting, see right now, it's good that you're in here. But once I say, okay, let's have some fun, I wish you say, okay, Anonymous, you know what? I fuck with you, but you made some sense. I'm going to go do something that's going to better me than to watch you play 2K. Hmm, how many of y'all going to do that? How many of y'all are going to turn my stream off and go do something that's going to help you? Because it's watching me playing 2K going to help you. It may help you for a moment, but am I really helping you? I may give you some entertainment for the moment, but am I really helping you by you watching me play a video game? Mm. 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 I know they're going to hit some of y'all. That gonna hit some of y'all. Now you, now you saying to yourself, "Damn, bruh. Yeah, that's what I want you to say. I want you to say, "Damn, bruh. Yeah, I want you to say that. 
It's watching me play 2K gonna help you get ahead and w is, is it gonna help you get to be a better man or a better woman? Watching me run around on a game that you know is broken. <laughs> I know that gonna hit some of y'all right there. Some of y'all are saying, God damn, I gotta go find something to do. I can't even watch this nigga play today. Yeah, my nigga. See me tomorrow. Go handle your business. I'll be here. I ain't going nowhere. Because, see, I'm making money by playing this game. I'm making money by playing this game. I ain't played a game yet. But Twitch gonna pay me. You feel me? I'm making money by telling you to get off of this fucking live stream and go do something for you. See, I'm willing to lose out on money. Because money don't mean shit to me. It's the love that you and I can create and build up that going to mean something to me. You feel me? So, i see you tomorrow, my nigga. Don't handle your business. i see you tomorrow. If you're going to stay, cool. But I'm just saying, when they ask you why you in the position you in, just tell them that you chose to stay and watch me play a video game. Then to go do something for yourself. <laughs> I know I had to hit some of you niggas ding. Well, I just hit you with a hook right there. Yeah, when they ask you, why are you in this situation you in? Well, I wanted to watch Anonymous play 2K. You know, I wanted to watch my other favorite streamer play 2K. I wanted to watch my other favorite streamer play 2K, so I didn't really have enough time to do what I needed to do for me. Oh, okay. That's all they're going to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on down here to the to the welfare office, we're going to see what we can do for you. Oh, now you on the bomb list. Uh, you not on the welfare office because you actually need it. You on the welfare list because you actually chose to watch me play a video game. <laughs> That's all I got to say on that, though. Blessing. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for tuning in today, man. Thank y'all for coming out hanging with me channel at the ghetto bodybuilder follow me on instagram tiktok at the ghetto bodybuilder i got the merchandise for sale on my website shop with me on my website man y'all got any input thoughts comments on this video make sure you drop a comment i'll be sure to get back with you as soon as i can y'all know how we coming let's get motivated oh check out me at one nah you there yeah, I am now. The same, baby. Feel it. That's all. Hey. The pass. Good shot. Wow. I'm back. I'm on pink. I got blue hair. Take blue hair. I got black. Yep. Yo, he went up with that? I should have jumped. I should have jumped it. Back door lay your left. Good shot. Yep. Good shot. I will play, but my bill yep. don't perform. Ah, you good. Bro, why is we not connecting to nothing? It had your icon on the other dude. That's why you didn't get that bump. It's stupid. Yo, lay up, wrap me. Big Mac, go to the right corner. Alright. Lay up, back door. The bucket. Yeah, the, if the play don't happen, the, the when I call it, then it's just go back to normal. I facts <laughs> already know. Wow, I'm going to say it. Good, good. Say it. Yeah, I play a proven ground. This shit, all that shit ass, bro. Lay up, wrap <laughs> me. Big Mac. Go yeah. to the paint. Ah, uh, that was the pump fake, but I got bored. Good shot. Good stuff. Yeah, all that shit ass, bro. Proven grounds, oh. theater. <laughs> all that shit ass.
five to me. Bro, they not letting me connect to nothing. <laughs> What's good, Grandy? Rebound. Game is stupid, bro. I'm, I'm right here and not connecting. Yo, switch. D. What's good, D-Lock? Yeah, the theater would been delayed for me too, man. Hulu Ground's been delayed. All this shit been delayed. That ain't just a sack of ish. Yo, go ahead and be down. I... Good bucket. Ah. Black, black, black. Oh. Okay, I see what you want to do. Fake. The pass. I'm bored. 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 Oh, you got that bit. Right, bro. I don't lie. And that was the terrible lanes by them. That's why he threw it and turned it over. Let's shoot the ball if you open. Lay up back door. Yeah. The bucket. Yeah, man. Nah, I didn't play it. I'm gonna put sunset. I didn't play sunset. Yo, just switch on picks and crossing plays. Switch on picks and crossing plays. Yeah, yeah, because I, I definitely was afraid to switch that idea, but I want to make. I want to give up a three, but it looked like he can't. You know what I'm saying? Shoot. Shot. Been this old, uh, give me that. I'm on that. Take the bottom one. Shot. The game. No, that big was to be clean. <laughs> or the dude I was guarding, he wasn't. You know, hey, saying, pay, he didn't hit shit. pay attention to the switches. Mm. Nah, this same jumper. You know, I don't change jump shot. That's one thing I don't do, man. Same jumpers. Yeah, Mac be having the same jumper for <laughs> years. <laughs> I got the same jumper from last year. If it didn't work last year, hey, I'm trying it. Yeah, I don't change jump shots. 